So welcome back everybody. In today's uh, video we are going to take up a question that was asked in uh, CSI Net June 2018 and the question is based on ordinary differential equations. We are given an ordinary differential equation that is uh, y dash that is derivative of y to uh, just x you can say is equal to y times y minus 1 y minus 2. So we are supposed to check uh, which one of these following is correct is true okay. Now uh, we can tackle this question in you can say in two ways. One is uh, uh, that we will make use of uh, partial fractions and all, and uh, another one is uh, that is more you know appropriate for this type of question to solve to you know get to the conclusion a very fast. Uh, that is uh, making use of direction keys. So this question. I will solve uh, making uh, use of direction keys only, not uh, using the partial fractions. So let's uh, dive into it straight away. Uh, so the method I'm going to use here is uh, method of uh, direction keys. And uh, if any one of you wants to go through what is direction keys and uh, go through in detail, and then uh, he or she can refer to the book uh, by S. L. Ross, Shapley L. Ross. Uh, that is a very nice book on differential equations. Okay, so let's uh, start this. Now to solve this one, uh, we will just see uh, the right hand uh, side that is uh, y, y minus 1, and y minus 2. We just put it 0. This will yield us y 0 or y is 1 or y is 2 so we will just graph this much of information here okay say so this is a y to 0 this is y 1 and this is y equal to now uh, there are situations that are right here when y you can just see this y is less than zero okay means y minus one that is subtract both sides with negative one is less than negative one which is less than zero so this implies y minus one is also less than zero okay from this only or from this one we have y minus 2 is less than minus 1 it is less than 0 which implies y minus 2 is less than 0 okay now this y dash consists of y y minus 1 and y minus 2 here when y is less than 0 y minus 1 is less than 0 y minus 2 is less than 0 so here what we will have y dash is equal to negative times negative times negative that will come out to be negative that is less than zero so when y is less than zero derivative is coming out to be less than zero means when y is less than zero the function is decreasing the function is decreasing as the derivative is less than zero now let's move to the next one next one is when uh, y is in this Okay, that is uh, when uh, y is uh, less than 1 and it is greater than 0. This yields as that y is greater than 0. Okay, and uh, this one will yield as y minus 1 is less than 0. And uh, this only will yield that y minus 2 is less than minus 1, which is less than 0. So y minus 2 is also less than 0. Okay. So when y is in between uh, 1 and 0, we can see the derivative y is greater than 0, y minus 1 less than 0, y minus 2 is less than 0. So in this case, the derivative is equal. The first one is positive. Yes. And uh, then you are multiplying it by a negative quantity, that's y minus 1. Then multiply by another negative quantity that's y minus 2. So the result is result is 
something positive which is greater than zero so the derivative there is greater than zero which means in this strip y is coming out to be uh, greater than zero. let me you know uh, draw the direction fields here right when y is less than zero the derivative is coming out to be uh, less than zero that means the function is decreasing so it is direction field this will look like this okay and uh, similarly when uh, y is in this strip uh, less than one and greater than zero the derivative is coming out to be greater than zero that means in this strip uh, this direction fields will look like this as there is an increasing one okay so that's it uh, uh, for less than 1, greater than 0 and less than 0. Now we have another case when uh, we'll just check it here. When uh, y is uh, less than 2 and uh, greater than 1, that is in this strip. Now this will imply y is greater than 1, which is greater than 0, implies y is greater than 0. Okay? And this one y minus 1, if you just calculate y minus 1, is greater than 0 only here. And uh, y minus 2 from this one is less than 0. Okay, so the derivative will come out to be y is greater than 0, so it's positive. Multiply by y minus 1 is greater than 0, so it's positive again. And then you will multiply y minus 2, that's negative. So the result is something negative, which is less than 0. So the derivative in uh, 1 to 2 is less than 0. So it is uh, decreasing, right? The direction fields will again look like this. Okay. Now the only thing uh, we need to now check is when y is greater than 2. When y is greater than 2, as you can see from there, I'll just hold it up here and write it here. When y is y is greater than 2, implies y minus 2 is greater than 0. Now this much is greater than 0, so this will yield us y is greater than 0. And if I subtract one both sides here, I'll get 1 minus 1 is greater than 2 minus 1, that's 1, which is greater than 0. So y minus 1 is greater than 0. So in this case, when y dx is uh, greater than 2, uh, when y is greater than 2, what will be y dash? y dash will be y positive multiplied by y minus 1, that's positive again, and uh, multiplied by y minus 2, that's positive again. So the result is positive, which is greater than zero so that function you can say is uh, increasing so the direction fields will look like this one y is greater than two that's it now we can make it from here uh, whether y is uh, increasing or decreasing unbounded bounded if we just look uh, you know, in this strip, that is y less than 1 and greater than 0, you can clearly mark it that it is increasing and it is bounded. Okay. And uh, similarly, in this strip, you can make it is decreasing and it is bounded up and down. Okay. And uh, if you look at this, that is y is greater than 2, you can clearly make it is increasing, but it is unbounded above. Okay. Similarly, when y is less than 0, you can clearly mark that uh, the derivative is less than zero so it is decreasing when y is less than zero but it is unbounded below it's unbounded below so we can just directly look at the options right uh, look at this your y is 0 0.5 that means it is less than one it's less than one and greater than zero just come here when y is less than one and greater than zero uh, we can just clearly make from the direction fields it is an increasing one okay and it's an increasing one. let's check what is he saying he's saying that if y of 0 is 0 0.1 then the y is decreasing so it's incorrect 
as we can make it from direction fields, it's increasing. Okay. Let's come to the second one that is y of 0 is 1.5, 1.2. y of 0 is 1.2, that means y is 1.2. 1.2 will be somewhere here. Okay. That means in this case, y is greater than 1 and it is less than 2. And uh, in this strip, you can clearly make it that it is decreasing. It is decreasing. What is he saying? He's saying y is increasing. So it, again, it's incorrect. Okay. Let's come to the third option where it says that y of 0 is 2.5. Then y is unbounded. We can uh, just come here and see y is 2.5. That means uh, above 2. And uh, you can clearly make it is increasing. He's not asking about whether it is increasing or decreasing. All he's asking is boundedness. Okay. And you can clearly make that uh, when it is uh, greater than 2, the function is unbounded above as it goes on. Okay. It's increasing. But unbounded. So option the third is correct. Option third is correct. Let's check uh, option four. It is that uh, part B question of CS net So only one will be correct. But we will just look at this. Now why are you saying that if y is less than zero, if y is less than zero, then y is bounded below. You know when y is less than zero, you can see it is uh, decreasing, but it is unbounded below. So option four is incorrect as well. So the option third only is correct. Uh, I, I guess uh, so far they have asked it uh, uh, two times on this uh, concept, and uh, if we would have used that uh, partial fractions, uh, we would have not we would have you know arrived at a solution, but uh, that would have not been conclusive, right?